If you own a website, you must backup and restore your website regularly and keep the copies of your backup which will help you in the events of if something goes wrong with your website, such as website hacking, server crashes, any new plugins or theme updates, maybe you messed up something that can ruin your website and you lose a lot of work. There are also some plugins, paid and free plugins out there for WordPress website like Backup Buddy, Updra Plus, Duplicator, All-in-One Migrations and few more. But I'm not going to use any of those plugins in this tutorial. Yes, I have made all those videos separately using all those plugins. I have provided the links in the description below. Please check it out. In this video, I will explain you step by step in detail how to backup and restore your website manually without using any third party plugins. Let's get started. Okay, this is the website as a Clickbank website on WordPress that I'm going to use for our manually backup tutorial. So let's go. We going to cPanel. Log into cPanel. Now before we make any backup, it is best thing to make a folder with the date and name so where we can download our backup in that folder and when we need it back to upload, we can find it easy. So let's make a folder. Click on new folder. That's it. That's our new folder. Now we're going. Click on file manager. Click on public HTML. This is public HTML where all files and folder for our website is in there. So we are going to select all, compress, click on zip archive, compress file. Click to close. This is our folder. This folder automatically named whatever we have first one right here. If you want, you can rename it. it. Doesn't matter. It's not that important. If you want to rename, click on rename right here, and whatever name you want it must have a .zip at end. Now we are going to click on PHP My Admin. This is our database name. Click on check all and export. You can click on uh, quick display or make it custom. Doesn't matter, is that not that important? Click to go. Same folder, we're going to download, save. It will take time. Mm 
Now we are going to download this one. Click on download. Websiteoffer.com After download complete, always delete this folder from the server. Let's delete. Now we are going to go to our website, log in to WordPress, admin, so we can mess up our website. Login. We have all those menus here. We're going to delete this menu entirely. Plus, we are also going to delete this couple of banner right here. click on widget banner number 4 delete banner number 3 delete and we click on menu This is the menu entertainment. We're going to delay it. So, right here, remove. This is sub menu from entertainment. You can drag and do everything, whatever you want. Now we are going to check our website. Refresh it. So the entertainment menu has been gone. Also, these two banner has been gone. So go back to the C panel. Click on File Manager, click on Public HTML, so whatever we have, we're going to delete all, so select all, delete, confirm, then we're going to upload the one we have just downloaded. right here now we are going to delete our backup uh, database sorry click on name of your database check all Click drop. Click yes. It's gone. Now we're going to see the site. There's nothing there. Everything has been gone. 
ब्लैंक वेबसाइट Now we are going to import our new database, database that we just downloaded. Click on choose file. This is the right here. Click go. Okay, now our c panel file folder has been uploaded so close this click on reload this is the folder we have we're going to extract it right here extract files Delete the folder we have here. Now whatever we have in, whatever we delete, it go in trash. We want to keep the clean, our database and folder and files on our server. So check here and click on empty trash. That's it. Let's see. Our database also uploaded. Close it. Now we go back to our website. Refresh it. Back to the normal. Entertainment menu has been backed up. Also, the banner we deleted, it came back, back to the normal. And this is the way, very easy, we can do manually backup if something goes wrong in your website. So this should be done on regular basis. They have some plugins out there that it does automatically. And I have some videos, just, it's in the description below, just check it out. And this backup, you can use for PHP side too. It doesn't have to be only WordPress, if you have any PHP site. And you can do this thing, the same thing. But there is no plugin for PHP sites, so PHP sites only can do manually. So this is the best thing to know how to do this. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. I really hope that this tutorial is very helpful for you and you have got some better idea from this tutorial. I sincerely wish you the best for all your future projects. I also requested that if you have any question, please feel free to ask in comments below. Also visit my website webjack.com to get some more tutorial and internet marketing resources to help on your projects. I have done my best to provide this tutorial to helpful to everyone. I hope that you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please subscribe and hit the bell of notification so you will get notification as soon as I upload a new video. Once again, I wish you the best luck for all your future projects. See you later next time. Have a good day.